The Open Modifieds are back for the fifth time this season for the Lincoln Tech Open 80. And as you can see, the pits are packed. There's a lot of Modifieds here tonight. And we're going to focus our pit preview on the Open Modifieds where Nicola Rosa is standing by with the hottest driver in the division. Woody Pitcat, obviously a favorite to win tonight's Open 80 event. And, you know, I know you like to win the Open 80s that are sponsored by liquor companies, but the Lincoln Tech Open 80 tonight, you've got a streak. You won the last two here. And how are you feeling about keeping that streak alive here tonight? Uh, obviously, the, the confidence is really high. You know, this car's been really good. We've only used it at Stafford. It, it leaves here from Victory Lane and goes and sits in the, trail, uh, in the shop, you know, so um, I'm looking forward to it. I've had a, a lot of nice Lincoln Tech trophies throughout my years, but obviously this would be the biggest and nicest one to have. So uh, we're going to try to go out here and uh, see what we got here, and, you know, in the heat race and get ready for the feature, and hopefully we can three-peat. Now, the Connecticut Racing Week here was pretty hectic. I know you're one of a couple drivers that had to race last night at the Thompson Speedway. Luckily for you, you got a win last night, so looking to carry that over to today. How, how are you, tired are you coming into today? Um, well, I actually was okay, and then I went and jacked for, uh, for a guy in the tour, so my night was a little bit later than it needed to be, but it's all right. You know, it's all good. I got to, you know, I was with Cam, my crew chief, and and his driver, Kyle Bonsignor, so we're kind of working together and using each other's feedback. Um, so it was nice to be there and be a part of that, and um, we'll, uh, we'll suck down a Duncan uh, refresher here shortly, and we'll be ready to ro rock and roll tonight. There you go, Woody Pitcat, a busy last 24 hours in racing, but today he's looking to make it three in a row in the Open 80. Now we're going to throw it to Bonza, who's battling a B with Dana DiMatteo. Well, the last time you saw the 76 on track, one at Waterford, your first Monaco Modified Tri-Track win. Now, since then, how much are you a believer in momentum? How much have you come down from that high point? Oh, um, just a next week mentality, you know, just building on week by week, try to build some confidence and uh, build the speed in the car, which uh, this year we had a shortened year, a little bit towards the beginning of the year with uh, motor issues, but seem to have cleaned that up and moving forward with it. So this season you got the win at Waterford. You finished fourth here in your one open race here. What's been the key this season to improving that performance compared to the last few years where your luck wasn't as kind? Um, I think it has a lot to do with preparation. Um, Corey switching over to John Hummel's car this year. Uh, we've been down one man all year, so it's time for me to step up as, uh, as maintaining the car with Andrew as a, a car chief and uh, it's just really working. It seems to be really synced out. We're down there every night putting in work and uh, it seems to be uh, showing very well. 76, making themselves known as a contender in the Open Modifies no matter where they go. We'll see what they can do here tonight. Now we're going to go to Nicole and see who she has in the pits. Jake Johnson, you may have heard the name as a recent Tri-Track Modified Series winner and you're brand new to Stafford here today, first time, but let's not forget, you're pretty new to modified racing as well. Obviously, grew up racing the Fender Divisions, and now you're here in open wheels the first couple of years, and you already have a win under your belt with the Tri-Track Modified Series tonight, an Open 80 main event here at Stafford. What's the game plan for today? I know you're sixth in practice, so good start. Uh, the game plan today is just to go have a smooth day, learn the track, learn the, the layout of the race, and uh, just try to see what we can do. You know, it's just all learning day, I'm trying to try to take the what we can figure out today and the knowledge we got here for uh, the tri-track race coming up later on in September. So just a big learning day for our team. There you go. And what made you choose this event on your calendar? I know we're a few open 80s in on the year at Stafford here. You've been running tour races all over the Northeast, but today you're at Stafford. Why is that? Um, we feel like as a, as a team, we went to a lot of tracks that we're familiar with and we got to learn there the new type of car. And now I think it's time that we can venture out to some new, bigger tracks and try to learn and the schedules worked out nicely and uh, we were able to make it out. Jake Johnson, a new face here at Stafford and we're excited to see him branch out today and see what he can do in tonight's Lincoln Tech Open Modified 80 event. Now we're going to throw it to Bonza. Well, when the Open Modifieds are in town, you always got to keep an eye on this guy, Chase Dowling, who's got a couple Open Mod wins last year, looking for another one today. He's won a dry track race here as well, but you struggled a bit earlier in the season. How have you been able to adjust and get the car better as the year has gone on? Yeah, we've been fighting. Uh, it's been a weird year. Uh, obviously, we had a really good year last year, and it's hard to stay consistent with those years. Obviously, things change and all that, but uh, found some stuff with the car this week, um, a lot of stuff, and uh, pretty pretty confident going into tonight. Uh, feeling good. Everyone's feeling good around here, this whole team. So um, hopefully we can get this nine back in victory lane this year. Here. 
You talked about in the beginning of the season the track conditions. How would you say the track conditions have changed throughout the season? Oh, they changed uh, quite a quite a bit here. Um, you know, sometimes they're spraying the track or whatnot. So, um, gotta gotta stay on top of it for sure. But uh, obviously, you come in with a notebook. You start with that and uh, just give the car what it needs throughout the day, and hopefully, you have some for the race. Chase Down looking for a first win in the Open Modifies this year here at Stafford. Always got to keep an eye on the 9CT. Now we're going to toss it to Nicole, who's with a driver making his first ever Open Modified start. One of our most popular drivers here at Stafford Motor Speedway, George Bissett Jr. You may have seen him in the SK Lights, maybe in Victory Lane a couple times this year, but tonight he's going to be in the Open Modified 80 as well. This is your first Open Modified start, and I know this car has been sitting in the shop on jack stands for quite some time, just been looking at it every day, wondering when, but the day has finally come. Yeah, you know, we bought this car last winter from Richard Savory because he was getting out of racing, and, uh, you know, we had a bunch of our sponsors fortunately help us out buying this car and I'm more, more than thankful for them to have this opportunity and you know we had a goal set to run this race at the beginning of the year and here we are and so far so good I'm 12 fastest right now wasn't expecting that at all uh, coming off the corner I feel like I was pushing the gas pedal but I still had another four feet of gas pedal to go so I got it figured out now, I think. You know, there's some big guys here and stiff competition, but we'll just take it one lap at a time and do the best we can. There you go. Like you said, you were 12th out of 31 today. What are some goals that you have set for yourself before you came to the track here today? Oh, I, just, I just wanted to get a good solid 80 lap finish in, top 15 if we could, but I think we can get a top 10 if we if we plan things out and uh, do a pit strategy good and see what happens. Day's going pretty good so far for George Bissett Jr. We're going to see how he can do tonight in the Open Modified 80 main event. Right now, we're going to get ready for racing and throw it to Bonza up in the booth.